Hi everybody, welcome to the new year, the new semester, and the February edition of TechEdge. We have an exciting edition for you today with lots of information about upcoming projects like the Google Apps migration, a video capture pilot, and student printing. Plus, we're launching the all-new ITS Service Desk. But first, I'd like to introduce you to several new members of the ITS team. Amy Roofers joined us in January as our new Service Desk Supervisor. Amy has an extensive background in desktop and user support and was responsible for building a service desk from scratch in her last job. Kelsey Herrick graduated from SNC in December 2012 and is currently working as a service desk assistant. While in school, Kelsey was a student worker in ITS and we're thrilled that she decided to stay on with us to help us set up the new service desk. Ravi Agarwal is serving as the Interim Director of Enterprise Applications. Ravi joined SNC three years ago as a computer science faculty member. His background and experience in software engineering makes him a great addition to the team. And finally, we're pleased to announce that Chrissy Lukens will be joining ITS in June as our Director of Academic Technology. Chrissy was a math major and computer science minor at SNC and has a master's degree in education. She's been working as an instructional technologist in the teacher education department since 2000. Please join me in welcoming Amy, Kelsey, Ravi, and Chrissy to ITS. We are pleased to introduce the all-new ITS Service Desk, your one-stop place for all of your technology needs. With the Service Desk, you don't need to worry about who to call for IT support. The Service Desk will either resolve your issue directly or escalate it to an appropriate ITS team member and provide oversight to ensure that your request gets responded to in a timely manner. The new ITS Service Desk is located in the Mulva Library room 108 right across from the circulation desk. The new service desk will be supported by two full-time professional staff in addition to student workers and will be open the same hours as the library. Our professional staff will maintain extended hours on Monday through Thursday from 7.30 a.m. till 6.30 p.m. to provide support for the first and last classes of the day. We have a new phone number and email address for the service desk. Call 4040 or email servicedesk at snc.edu for assistance, or drop by the Mulva Library to have your request handled in person. ITS was busy over the winter break, upgrading and moving our Moodle learning and management system to a hosted environment. With the new Moodle, also known as Snoodle, safely launched, we are turning our sights to a new project, the move to a new email and calendaring system hosted by Google. We'll move from Zimbra to Google Apps for Education for these services on Friday, March 8th. As part of the migration, all of your email will automatically be moved over for you. If you use Zimbra for calendaring or contacts, you will need to import these yourself into the new system. The process is really simple, and we've created a video and easy instructions to walk you through it. Plus, we will be providing drop-in workshops before and after the migration date to help you log in, import your calendar, and reset up some key settings like your email footer and calendar sharing. For more information about the project and self-service training tools, visit snc.edu slash go slash google zero one. In our fall survey, we heard loud and clear, students want more options for printing. Over the break, we've added several new printing locations to better meet your needs. As always, you can print in the Mulva Library, Todd Weir Hall, and JMS 317. We took the Coffrin 101 lab out of service but replaced it with a new print station in the Coffrin basement lounge and added a new lab and print station in the JMS lecture wing. JMS 012 is a combination instructional and open access lab and can be used anytime there aren't classes in it. We also are in the process of adding new printers into the two residence halls in the Sensenbrenner Women's Center and in the basement lounge in 3M. Finally, we've taken the Digital Arts Center formerly in JMS and merged it with the Copy Center to create an all-new digital print center in the basement of Michael's Commons, providing a wide variety of color and large format printing options. We hope you enjoy all of these new printing environments. And now... Hi, I'm Sandy Gilson. I work in the ITS Department Information Technology Services, and I'm an administrative assistant. Working in ITS has given me great learning opportunities. One colleague of mine bestowed upon me at one time that I'm an honorary geek of this department. The phrase I like to use every day while working at St. Norbert College is every day is an adventure. Just a reminder as we wrap up this issue of Tech Edge. Please do not hesitate to contact us in person, 
via email or phone or online if you need technical assistance. We're here to serve you. You can also find us on social media under at SNCITS on Twitter or facebook.com slash SNCITS. There you'll find helpful hints and tricks as well as the latest information on outages, scheduled maintenance, and system upgrades.